What is going on, everybody? Happy July. This is episode 14, I think, of Dig Straight Down, recorded on July 6th, 2020, of course. And I'm Rebel JC. So welcome. Welcome to the show. Welcome to a new episode. Welcome to maybe a new Dig Straight Down. I really need to try something different. I really need to try a new kind of opening. I'm, I'm tired of the, um, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Dig Straight Down with me, your host, Rebel JC. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if it, it, it doesn't necessarily feel right. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll try something different next time. Maybe I'll... Howdy, y'all. Rebel JC here, recording as I always do in northeast Mississippi. I don't know, that doesn't really work for me. Joe Hills, he's he, he's the king of of that kind of of that kind of opening. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll try something new next next episode. Um we'll see. But uh this episode, yeah, is going to be I, I think a little bit of a uh turning point for the show. Um I've been putting some thought into how I approach the show and I've been comparing past episodes and really doing some thinking. Um, and I enjoy recording episodes that are not scripted far more than I enjoy writing out a script and recording that kind of episode. Um, if you go back and listen to the very, very, very first episode ever on this, uh, podcast, I believe it's called the forbidden weapon in Minecraft. In my opinion, just for me personally, that is the best episode. I felt like it hit the tone that I wanted to hit. Uh, kind of a more casual, laid-back, conversational tone, rather than a, um, I don't know, a presentation feel. Uh, when it's scripted, I feel very unnatural, and I don't really enjoy that as much. And it's, it's also just a ton of work to script out in an episode, and... I just don't have the time to do that. And that's one of the things that really kept me back from recording episodes as much as I wanted to. So we're going to try this out for a little while. We're going to try a non-scripted approach. We're also going to try segments. Three segments to be exact. Um, and we're going to start right now with the first segment, which is not news. <laughs> uh, I thought about doing news. I don't want to do news. I want to be able to record these things occasionally a few days or so in advance. So I'm not going to do news. I'm going to do community highlights. I love community things. So things that are like happening in the Minecraft community that are not, at, that are not Hermitcraft or other SMP news or maybe even like gameplay news, although I'll probably talk about that kind of stuff. What I like about the community highlights and the community news that I come across are the people who are not Let's Players, the people who are not big name SMP YouTube personalities. I enjoy hearing about people who are doing something different with Minecraft, and that's what I'm kind of try to concentrate on in this segment. The segment's beginning right now, Community Highlights. And for this Community Highlight, for this episode, I'm talking about all the Minecraft podcasts. All of them. Every single one of them. Not every single one of them. I don't, I don't know every single one of them. But there's four that I am at least partly familiar with, not including this one. And I just wanted to talk to them. Uh, and I just want to talk about them a little bit. Uh, in no particular order. This is not ranked by any anything at all. Um, I'm not going to tell you which one's my favorite. So you'll have to uh, go listen to these guys on your own, and then you come up with your own conclusions. Uh, first on the list, however, is The Shaft. Funny uh, story. Not really funny story. I don't know why I said it's a funny story. <laughs> it's not a funny story, but story... Um, I wanted to use that name. When I started this this podcast, I was like, you know what? The Shaft or The Mine Shaft. Um, and then I did a little research. And at the time, The Shaft was not really putting, putting out any episodes. Um, they were on a sort of 
five-year hiatus um, at the beginning of this year. So uh, I thought maybe I could use it. Maybe, you know, they're not doing anything with it. Maybe I could use it. Then I decided, you know what, Dig Straight Down is actually a better title. Not really a better title, but it appealed to me more, and no one else was using it. So, of course, I chose Dig Straight Down. But The Shaft, The Shaft is a cool podcast. I've just now begun to listen to it. And apparently it's been going on for a very long time. Um, it's uh, hosted by guys that I'm not familiar with. Um, so I cannot, I don't have, I, I should have this pulled up. I should have this pulled up on a screen right now in front of me, all the information about this podcast. I'm not prepared. It doesn't matter. Go look them up. The Shaft. It's a cool podcast. A bunch of guys uh, talking about Minecraft uh, they have guests on occasionally. It's everything Minecraft, sort of a variety show. They talk about lots of different aspects of everything. Um, and they're, they're OG, you know, Minecrafters too. They, they'll, they'll make references to Minecraft things that don't exist anymore. When they talk about the new features, they are all, you know, they kind of be like, they, they'll make observations that aren't accurate because they're not familiar with the new stuff. They just got back into the game after a five-year uh, break. As far as I can tell, anyway, I might be completely wrong about this, but go look them up. The Shaft, a Minecraft podcast. It's really good. You should listen to it. Add it to your list. Next on the list, speaking of lists, <laughs> is The Withering Effect. The Withering Effect podcast. It's awesome. Duds and Jimbo and Carl and Behind the Scenes decoy with all the music and the sounds and stuff. Um, I'm on their discord. They've got a discord. Uh, they talk about Minecraft, <laughs> believe it or not. It's a Minecraft podcast, the withering effect. Um, they talk about, they'll, they'll, they'll go into news, you know, they'll go into what's going on in the community. Um, they will even have guests on occasionally as podcasts are want to do, except for this one. I've not had it a guest on. Maybe that'll be in the future. I'll think about it. Maybe one day if I can get somebody to say yes. Um, and the, w what I really love about the withering effect is how much they involve their community. I've been on their discord, um, for a little while now, I would say maybe about six months or so, maybe. I don't, I don't, I don't know how long I've been on their Discord, but they, they're really good at, you know, uh, asking, uh, getting you to ask questions and reading your questions on the podcasts. They're very kind. They're very, um, accepting, um, of their community and involving of their community. Carl does a good job organizing everything. Um, and I highly encourage you to go check them out. They do a weekly podcast. Most of these are weekly. Uh, next on the list, Void Frogs. The Void Frogs. Q Magnet. <laughs> I slaughtered that name. Not Q Madnet. Q Magnet. And Stiflard. Um, I, I, okay, so the Void Frogs, probably the most unique Minecraft podcast out there. Because they don't necessarily talk about the game. And... I don't, I, I don't know how the rest of the community feels about that. I love that. I love that, that they don't talk about gameplay. They talk about the community. It's very community-oriented. Um, every episode, or most every episode, is a interview with uh, not necessarily a very popular person in a, the Minecraft community, but a person who's contributing some really cool stuff. Not necessarily Let's Players all the time. There's map makers. There's um, people who do really cool remixes of popular Minecraft videos. I mean, that's that's one person, and we I think we all know that that's uh, Ellie Beatsmaker. You should yeah, that that was a good episode when they had him on. Uh, they'll talk to people like Log.zip. Some some really what I would say some household names of the Minecraft community. And uh, they do a really good job highlighting those areas of the game that most people might not be, or of the, of the community, rather, that most people might not be super familiar with. Go check them out. The Void Frogs, by the way, they also have just opened a Discord. I'm sure the link is on their Twitter. Uh, join, 
You can submit questions. You can talk to the community. I'm on it. You can talk to me. I would love to talk to people. <laughs> uh, next on the list, the Spawn Chunks. Now, this is the one that got me into the Minecraft thing. Uh, the, not the Minecraft thing, the podcast thing. I've been in the Minecraft thing for a while now. The podcast thing. Started listening to the, the Spawn Chunks uh, maybe a year or so ago. Um, Pixel Riffs, Joel Duggan. Really, really good podcast presences. Uh, my, my microphone presence. I don't really know what I'm saying. Um, they're very informative. You learn something every time you listen to the Spawn Chunks. Or at least I do. Maybe that's more of a um, comment on my own intelligence and knowledge of the game. Or maybe it's just, they're darn smart. Um, it's a Canadian. It's a British man. So, as an American, I I don't know. That's, that's cool. <laughs> um... Yeah, they they they're they're very uh they're very inclusive with their community too. Um, you can write them questions to their to their Gmail and they will uh read it if it's um if it's legible if they can if they can read it, um because apparently they've been having problems with people writing the entire email out in the subject line and gosh do I know that that's a that's a pain when I get those emails it's like immediately I delete I'm done. No, I'm not gonna not gonna honor this with a a, a response. So, yeah, uh, the spawn chunks, check them out. And I want to shout out one more. I was I was kind of looking through a list of, or doing some research as to what Minecraft podcasts were out there. Um, and there's one now. This is a uh, this is a a younger younger Minecrafter. Um, started their podcast, maybe uh, what was a uh, November last year. So a little older, a little older than Dig Straight Down, actually. Um, it's called Redstone Weekly, a Minecraft podcast. Um, and I, I can't tell whether or not this person, um, the 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 the, uh, the host is a called Craggle, O nine or Red Pixel O nine. There are two names up there, so I'm not sure which one it is. But it's a younger a younger member of the community. Um putting out a podcast out there and it's a, uh, they'll go over some, some Minecraft news. They'll talk about some gameplay while they're playing the game actually, which is an interesting, you know, most of the time you see less plays on YouTube where you can actually see what they're doing, but this is a, uh, just a running commentary as they're playing the game, recording their voice. Um, they'll do, uh, they'll answer some questions if you send it in. So what, what I want, what I would like for everyone to do is to stop listening to this episode right now and go find these, go find, uh, go find Redstone Weekly. Um, send them a question, leave them a good positive review because it's, it's important to me. And I feel like to most people in the Minecraft community that we encourage and build up and support everyone who's trying to be a content creator um, and putting some stuff out there, this, 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 um, this young Minecrafter putting this podcast out there, they're doing, they're very confident. And while, I mean, of course, I mean, like even me, like I would like to, I would like this podcast to be 90% better than it is right now. So I've got a, a lot of rough edges that I would like to smooth out. And so of course, like they, they, they do as well, but the thing is they're sticking with it and they're, I don't know, maybe, um, uh, 11 episodes in, um, they're doing, they're, they're sticking with it. They're not backing down. They're not letting negative comments and negative reviews, which I've seen one or two on this, on this person's podcast. They're not letting that stop them. And I think that's very admirable. So what I would like for anyone listening to this podcast right now to, to, to drop by and visit them. And I'll, I'll, I'll put a link in there in the description of this episode, drop by, um, give them some kind words of encouragement. Let them know, hey, you're doing, you are doing a good job. Keep at it. Um, don't give up. You know, like that. You you always start somewhere. The, the you always start at the bottom rung of the ladder, and there's you can only go up. So, leave them some kind words. Be a good, be a positive member of this community, and yeah, just do that for me, if you don't mind. And then come right back. And 
and we'll jump into the next segment of this podcast, which is feature review. And this is where I will pick a feature, a part of the main, the, the main Minecraft game, and do a little review of it. Um, so I'm going back to basics with this one. I'm reviewing dirt. No, I'm not reviewing dirt. <laughs> Um, I thought about it and I thought, well, there's not really much to talk about, but what is, what is the dirt of Minecraft mobs, Minecraft hostile mobs? What is the dirt equivalent? That's the zombie, the zombie, hostile mobs, the, I would say iconic mob of the game. I know the creeper is supposedly, but honestly, I kind of feel like you see way more zombies than you do creepers. So the zombie for me is the, the face of Minecraft. So uh, usually the first thing, the first thing that greets you when you play the game, at least at night, they spawn like most mobs in unlit areas at a certain distance from the player. Sometimes they can have armor. Sometimes they can have weapons. Sometimes they can be small. <laughs> they can be babies. Sometimes they can be babies riding on chickens. When killed, they drop rotten flesh, which you can use to feed your dogs. They're pretty much the cannon fodder of hostile mobs. Like They're, they're pretty easy to defeat unless they're in just a, a huge group and you don't have your, your best armor or tools or weapons on you. So don't underestimate a large group of zombies. The best of us have been, have been killed by those things. They come in different varieties. There's the regular zombies who basically look like uh, green Steves. There's the zombie villagers just undead villagers that you can cure with a golden apple and a potion of weakness, I believe. There are the husks. They spawn in deserts. They don't burn up in the sun. I don't know why. Probably because they have like a little cloth thing on their head. I'm not sure. Zombie pigmen. Oh, I'm sorry. Zombified piglins. Rip. Rip. Zombie pigmen. I won't really miss them. I mean, they're not really gone. They've just been renamed and there's an ear now. So, that's cool. There are also zombie horses. The mythical creature of Minecraft is the zombie horse. An undead steed, which you cannot get in survival Minecraft. Unless you uh, have... Command capabilities, which is cheating, right? No, it's not cheating. There's no way to cheat in Minecraft. I play on a realm that has keep inventory, so that's me trying to defend myself. It wasn't my idea, okay? I protest. I protested. But yes, I, I use it to my advantage. Go into the nether. Get lost. Grab what I want. Jump into lava. Go back home. Stop. Have everything. Drowned. The mermaids of Minecraft. They're ugly. They are so ugly. And they're so annoying. Come on. They're always like burping in your ear. Like, Bleh. Crude. Rude. And then there's zombies with armor. That's the, uh, the other variant. The, the, the zombies that got some, uh, some bling. Trying to make everybody else jealous. Yeah, I don't know. So zombies. <laughs> Is Minecraft actually a zombie apocalypse game? What's the story here? So when you spawn into the game, okay, so you're the most basic single player game, right? You don't even have your own skin. You don't even have your own username. You're just Steve in a vanilla Minecraft game, right? What's the story? All the zombies look like you. Are you the last remaining survivor? Ruins of civilization all around you, sunken ships. Zombie villages. Ruined nether fortresses. 
cities and villages at the bottom of the ocean. The dead lurk everywhere. Is Steve the Rick Grimes of Minecraft? I like to think so. Zombies can also do this thing that I've never seen personally in the game, but apparently it exists. It's called the siege, right? It's when um, nighttime falls on the village, and all of a sudden, for some re weird reason, zombies just gang up and invade in massive quantities. I've never seen this happen in the game. I've never seen a zombie siege happen, so I don't believe in it. I don't think that it exists. I don't know. I'm going to have to go look up videos. If it's happened to you, let me know. Digstraightdowncast at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you guys. <sighs> so I'm going to do a little bit of a rating system for this segment as I review features of Minecraft. I'm going to rate them on a scale of 1 to 10, but not just 1 to 10. It's going to be a scale... From netherite to birch logs. So the rating system will be from best to worst in order. Netherite, diamond, emerald, gold, iron, stone, wood, dirt, granite because it's ugly and I hate it. And birch log, because it's even uglier, and I hate it even more. And so, how do I rate zombies in Minecraft? What's the rating? Everybody's eager to know. Everybody wants to know this specific thing. My rating for zombies is emerald. Because, come on, it would not be Minecraft without zombies. Zombies get emerald rating. We'll see how it adds up with the next thing that I'm going to review in the next episode, which I don't know what that is because I haven't decided yet. So, yep. Anyway. I'm thinking about getting a Discord. I don't know if I will. I don't know what's all involved, and I don't want to, like, open up a chat room where a bunch of weird people start gathering, so... I probably won't do it, but we'll see. Everybody else is, so who knows? We'll see. All right. So, segment three, the final segment. Minecraft Dungeons has introduced so many, 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 many new things to the game new mobs, new weapons. New bosses, new enchantments, new relics, new blocks, everything new, 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 and I'm jealous of it all. I cannot play dungeons, guys. I'm on a Mac. Come on, Microsoft. So, main discussion, the final segment. What if we added... Enchantments from Minecraft Dungeons into vanilla Minecraft and which ones fit, which ones do not. I'm going to go, this might be more than just this episode. But for this episode, I'm going to go down a list of, um, I've got a list here of enchantments from Minecraft Dungeons, what they do. And I'm going to tell you whether or not they fit and whether they do or not. Yep, I just, uh, I can't speak apparently. I'm going to tell you whether or not these enchantments fit in the game. And this episode, we're concentrating on melee, melee enchantments. I've got the uh, the list pulled up here on my laptop. And we're just going to start at the top of the list. So, the anima conduit. This is the first one on the list because it starts with an A. Each soul you absorb, grant. <laughs> Each soul you absorb grants a small amount of health. Uh, souls don't exist in vanilla Minecraft, so that one, um, nah, that, that, that's not gonna work. Sorry, unless, unless, um, unless it's a, uh, 
type of, uh, we, we adapt it so that each time you get experience, it heals you. I don't know. That would be kind of cool. Next one on the list. It's called Chains. Has a 30% chance to chain a cluster of mobs together and keep them bound for a short time. Sounds really cool. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Would this fit in the vanilla game? Hmm. I'm going to say no. I don't know. Not not the chain thing. I don't know. I, I, I don't like the idea of like an animated chain. For some reason, it just rubs me wrong to have like an animated chain. I just don't know how it would fit in the game, guys. I don't think it works. No, this is for dungeons only. Next one on the list. Committed. Hmm. Commitments. Deal increased damage against already wounded enemies. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This one fits. Let's do it. That that sounds great. So an, an enemy does not have 100% health. Well, they get punished even more. I like it. Committed. Put that one on the list. Committed works. Committed. Let's put it in the game. Next one. Critical hit. Gives you a chance to inflict critical hits during dealing triple damage don't we already have that is it, we already have a critical hit so no that one doesn't work echo next one on the list echo 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 some of your attacks can be followed up by another attack in quick succession succession su- succession succession whichever Yes, let's do this one, especially for the axe. I want Echo on the axe because, hey, sometimes it takes forever to um, to, to uh, recharge that um, axe attack. So let's let's uh, put Echo on there and get like a vroom, 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 vroom kind of attack rather than a... Um, oh, I'm not going to do a stupid sound effect again. You know what I mean. Rather than a regular thing. Yeah, Echo committed and Echo. Let's add him. Add him to Vanilla. Exploding. Mobs explode after they're defeated. I I like that one. Yes. 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 Okay, exploding. Let's add that one. You have a chance. I don't know. That was risky. But let's add it. Let's do it anyway. Enig- Next one on the list. Enigma Resonator. Gives a chance to deal triple damage based on the number of souls. No. Nope. Souls again. Sorry. Can't do it. Won't do it. There's no souls in vanilla Minecraft. Or are there? Dun, dun, dun. Next one on the list. Fire aspect. Have it. Freezing. Slows mobs after hit for three seconds. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Add it to the game. Add it. Yes. It's kinda like it's kinda like slowness potion or slowness um slowness um arrows, but for melee. Let's do it. Gravity. This effect pulls mobs in range towards the opponent's we- impact weapons. No, sorry, I wanna re apparently there's no English coming out of my mouth today. Let's do this again. This effect pulls mobs in range towards the weapons impact point. Yeah, I don't see this happening with vanilla Minecraft physics, so I'm going to say skip. Nope. Uh, Jungle Poison doesn't have a description. Knockback. Have it. Leeching. Defeating a mob. Heals you a small portion of the mob's max health. Yes, let's do that one. Leeching. Basically, you're just stealing health. You're it, Every time you kill a mob, you get health. I like that. Let's do it. Kind of OP. You're going to have to balance that somehow, but I don't know. Looting. We have it. Poison Cloud. Has a thirty print has a thirty percent chance to summon a poison cloud that damages enemies in an area for three seconds. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. That one fits. I'm not going to tell you why. <laughs> it reminds me of Dragon's Breath, actually. Um, maybe if it's a rare occurrence. Let's add it. Let's, I like it. Prospector. Find more emeralds on. No, that's basically looting. Uh, Radiance has a 20% chance to spawn a circular area that heals all allies within it. I don't, um, I don't see why 
that would be a, uh, I mean, basically it's just a health potion, right? It's like a splash health potion. So no, let's not do that one. Rampaging after defeating a mob. There is a 10% chance to increase your attack speed by 50% for a short time. Yeah, sure. Sure, let's do that. Uh, yeah, I like it. I like rampaging. Yeah, so you basically you become like a berserker warrior. Okay, I like it. Sharpness makes your weapon sharper, dealing it. No, uh, we already have sharpness. Shockwave, I like this one. The last attack on a, in a combo launches a shockwave damaging enemies. I like this one. So like you have like a an axe, right? And you do a uh, one hit two hit and then for third hit boom shockwave goes out i like it let's add it smiting smiting we already have that one uh soul siphon ah there's the soul thing we don't have souls in in uh vanilla minecraft so unless they add souls to vanilla minecraft that one doesn't work uh stunning chance to temporary temporarily stun enemies yes in fact we kind of already have this with the uh the uh ravager if you uh uh, block a ravager with a shield at the right moment you stun them so yeah it's already in the game so let's just um make it uh make it more um ubiquitous across the game let's flesh out this thing that we already have in the game i say add stunning swirling uh the last attack in a combo performs a swirling attack damaging nearby enemies that's basically sweeping edge so no thundering has a 30% chance to summon lightning strike. Ooh, that damages nearby enemies. Okay, so maybe not this particular thing, but if you took channeling and applied it to swords and axes and stuff, and it just did the same thing, like, oh, I like that. But you can only do it like a thunderstorm. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Add that one, we'll, or, or just change channeling, yeah. Weakening, your attacks decrease the weak, the attack damage. Of all nearby enemies for five seconds. Yes, absolutely. Let's do that one. Let's add that one to the game. Weakening. Okay, so let's go over. And uh, that was the last one on this um on the melee list. Uh, we said chain. Um, no, not chains. Committed. Add committed. Add echo. Add exploding. Add freezing. Add leeching. Add poison cloud. Add rampaging, add shockwave, add stunning, add thundering, and add weakening. That's the answer. That is the answer to the question that everyone was asking, right? Everyone wanted to know this. <laughs> everyone wanted to know what enchantments, what specifically the melee ones, what melee enchantments should we bring in from Minecraft Dungeons into Minecraft Vanilla? Well, now you have the answer. Those, the ones that I just listed. So what can you do? What can you do to make this happen? Well, you can write your senators and represent no. You can send very positive tweets <laughs> to the Minecraft developers on Twitter. Be very respectful. Be very positive. Be a good representation of what the Minecraft community should be. Ask them for these... <laughs> for these enchantments to be in Minecraft Vanilla. And tell them that Rebel JC from Dig Straight Down sent you. They know who I am, right? They know who I am, right? No. Yeah. Nope, they don't, but that's okay. That's not why I'm doing this. I'm doing this for fun. I'm doing this because I love Minecraft and because I love you guys. You guys. I love you. You're like my family. All right, awkward, awkwardness over. This episode is done. This episode's over. This has been Rebel JC, and this has been Dig Straight Down. I will see you in the next episode where we continue to answer the burning question. What enchantments from Minecraft Dungeons should be in Minecraft? Just the regular vanilla game. The answer's out there. We're gonna we're gonna dig it up, and by doing that, we're gonna you know, have to. You have to dig straight down. I have to throw that in there. So keep digging straight down. I'll see you in the next episode.